Here's a great example of a pineapple pup. So this started out as a flower. It was a hairy tuft, and then it changed its mind, grew spines, and became a vegetative pup. Now we're gonna go look at the exact opposite, which is really rare. It started out as a pup and changed its mind and became a flower. Let's see it. So here we have the exact opposite, super rare. This started as a pup and it has turned into a flower. So strange. It'll be really interesting to see if this attempts to make a fruit, seeing how it has actual vegetative growth material at the bottom. It's an actual pup with spines and then it's turned itself into a flower. I got some pollen here from a father and we're gonna pollinate this and see what it does. Let's take a look at the dad. Here's the father that we're using. This is a Trichocereus burgessii. It's a really cool one that goes bald, super spicy, thin spines. Gets an interesting feathered edge tip on its petals. And this is Otele, O-T-L-E, Old Town Lake Elsinore. And this is going to be the father. We're collecting the pollen and using it. So here's that bloom. Just opened up. We're going to drop some pollen on there. It's got a short stigma, but a big fat stamen. So we'll see if it does the trick. You can see that other little pup right next to it. Strange. Let's get a little update on that fruit pod. The flower has dried up, shriveled back, and the fruit is fully fat and looks completely viable. It'll be interesting to see if the seeds grow and how big this piece of fruit gets and if it's actually attached to that vegetative growth or what. I'll keep you updated on that weirdo. Jurrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr